What's going on everyone? This is FrameX3 here and I am bringing you a video I am so excited for. In this video, I will be spending 9 million Stardust. That's right, 9 million. I've been saving up Stardust all year and there's no better time for me to spend all of it than right now. Why? Because one, it's the end of the year. Let's celebrate. We made it to the end of 2023. Number two, I made it to level 50. That's right, I made it to level 50 this past trade hour, opening gifts on a lucky egg, three times star to our, I'm sorry, three times catch XP from the event. I'm just really excited. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and spend nine million Stardust. I've got my phone streaming, there might be a little lag. I'm gonna do this in one take, and I'm really excited. Let's start off with catching this Ivysaur here. We're gonna go with boom, and you know what? Let's go big, we're gonna go with the Silver Pineapp. Ooh, so close to the excellent. Did not catch. If you guys don't know what I'm doing here, this is called the uh, the quick catch trick. Um, I don't have a video for it, but if you just search Pokemon Go quick catch trick, it's out there. We're going to give this one more try. Um, and then we're just going to get to spending all the Stardust. I've gone ahead and I've tagged the Pokemon that I want to, um, to level up with a couple different tags. Oh, it's not good. Um, one of the tags here, this is my generic, this is LVU, this stands for level up. Uh, the other tag that I'm going to be using is 8 mil, which are Pokemon that I've, uh, tagged specifically for this video. Uh, you can see here I have 9,001,061,494 Stardust, which I feel like is a lot. Um, for some of you out there, it's not gonna be, um, but for me, it is. Let's go ahead, before we go ahead and, and upgrade all of my of my Pokemon here, I want to get a quick look at my top 6, my top 9, my top 12, whatever it is. You can see here we have the Mega, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and screenshot this. So we've got a Primal Groudon, we've got a Shiny Mewtwo, a Reshiram, uh, two Slackings, a, a Garchomp, a couple of um, Tyranitars. This here is a Shundo... Ho -Oh, oh, which we won't be leveling up in this video, unfortunately, just because I don't have the XLs. Um, and then a Dragonite. Let's go ahead and get leveling. I'm really excited for this. Again, 8 mil and LVU. Oh man, where do we start? 8 million experience. You know what? What I want to start with for this, um, this is one I'm really excited to level up. I caught this the other day. This was the first thing I caught during the, like, Kanto comeback event. Uh, it was... Where is it? It was this Blastoise. It's a 100% IV. I got it from research. I was sitting there, you know, at work, and I just claimed the research, and lo and behold, it was the Hundo. Super exciting. Uh, because of the GoFest, uh, like, recap or whatever event this past weekend, it just ended a couple hours ago, actually. Actually, an hour ago. I was able to get a Hydro Cannon on it. I'm really excited for this. So let's go ahead. Let's take this guy to level 50. It's going to go ahead and be forging 70,000 Stardust, 244 regular candy, and of course, 296 XLs. I'm really excited for this. This is my first Hundo Squirtle family uh, Pokemon, and of course, my first level 50 Squirtle, 50 level War Total, or 50 level Blastoise. Here we go. No going back. That that is awesome. There we go. Level 50. And just because of that, let's go ahead. We're gonna give it only for 10,000 dust and 25 candy. We're gonna give another charge attack. I think that just makes sense. And there we go. We've got water gun, hydro cannon, and skull bash on this 100 percent IV blastoise. Look at that. Man, I'm excited to have this on my team. Let's go to the next one. This next Pokemon is going to be a Shadow Dratini. I caught this yesterday during the Go Go uh, Go Fest recap. I sat down for a bit to just fight a cliff. And look at this. I got a 96 IV Dratini. I've been doing these since it came out again. I've been grinding hard for them. I haven't gotten anything remotely good. And then I got this. It makes sense that I go ahead and I level this up. Still has frustration, as you can see, and I'm waiting for the next Rocket event. But I don't think it matters. We're going to go power up. 
minus 615,000 dust, 375 candy, and 360 XLs out of my current 807. Look at that. Thank you, Community Days. We're going to go ahead and power you up. Man, that feels real good. Right on. We've got Dragon Breath, and again, we have Frustration. We're down to 8 million dust, uh, and we're going to move on to the next one here. I'm just winging this. I'm just having fun with it. I think for the next one, we want to go with this Larvi Tar that I evolved during the Calm Day. It's a 15-15-10. I think this is a great candidate just because Shadow Tyranitar is the best Dark-type attacker in the game. You can see we have Smackdown and Brutal Swing. I'm not set on giving it a second move. I may make it a full Dark attacker in the future. But for now, let's power up. 517,000 dust. 258 candy. And of course, 360 XLs. That's what you gotta pay to take a shadow from 40 to 50. Let's go ahead. I'm so excited for this one. Mm. Yeah, that feels feels real good. 4,290 Stardust. I'm so excited. We're down to 7.5 million. We gotta start being picky. We gotta start being real picky here. Hmm. Let's do the Venusaur here. It's a hundo. Of course it's a hundo. This is one of my actually maxed out megas. I've been using this as a non-level 50 max out mega for a long time. Because I really like the candy bonuses that come with the megas. Um, but I, I use this in battles. I use it in rockets. I use it in raids. Not really PvP. But now that it's level 50, maybe I'll use it in PvP. I'm really excited for this. This is 470,000 dust. 244 regular candy. And 296 XLs. Of course, I gotta level this up. Let's go. Look at that. My man, I'm so excited on this one. Getting starters leveled up is so, so just nostalgic. And it feels really good. Uh, my first games was, of course, red, blue, fire, red, leaf, green. And, and being able to level up Pokemon now in 2023, when I'm 15, 20 years out of playing those games, is great. This is why Pokemon Go is such a great game. Because it allows me to live through the nostalgia that these pokemon bring i'm sure you feel the same of course it's got the cd move man look at that oh dude that oh i love that that makes me so happy all righty we've gone ahead and level that up this one here this is a level uh i'm sorry a four star happini i had from an egg i was sitting there getting ready to go home from work one day and i had some eggs hatching on the way out and I hatched this. I recently went ahead and best buddied it. Rumors are February's community day is Chansey. So I'm not going to evolve it. But what I am going to do. You guessed it. I'm going to take it to level 50. I brought it up to level 40. I best buddied it very recently. Uh, not that one. Power up minus 250,000 dust. Which is typical. Again 296 candies. XL candies. Let's take this to level 50 guys. I'm so excited. Bada bing, bada boom. 419. I'm so, so, so excited to put this in gyms. February cannot come fast enough. Look at that. Look at that. Level 50 Hapini. 100%. Man, that feels real good. This next one I'm going to take up to level 50 is, is a Pikachu called Sleepy. I caught this in my bed late at night one night. Just laying there. I couldn't fall asleep, so I brought the game up. Uh, again, at home, it's a level, I'm sorry, it's a 100%, about to be level 50 Pikachu. My first level 50 Pikachu caught this at home two or three years ago. Here we go, 508,000 dust because it's not level 40, 284 candy, and 296 dust. I'm pretty heavy on what's meta, but this is something that's personal. This is something that's sentimental to me. There's a lot of backstory to this one, and I'm very happy to bring this one to level 50. 1,060 CP. This Pikachu is my number one. And just because it means so much to me, let's give it a second move. What's next for this is best budding it, and I'm sure no one is surprised. We're down to 6.3 million experience. This next one we're going to bring up to level 50 again is another max mega. I'm really big on candy and the XL bonuses for my megas. Um, not so much loving them up, but again, it's a level 50 Blaziken. Man, I'm... 
double checking that recording to be honest with you i am great um i'm gonna go ahead and power this up again 250 dust 296 pretty straightforward this is on the low end today let's take you to 50 3219 cp man i'm so excited to have this one on my team look at that man level 50 hundo blaziken heck yeah and while we're at it leveling up 100 percent max megas let's take this gyarados i don't think there's any questioning in that we're going to take that to 3834 cp wow that is awesome i use this one all the time again it's got the cd move this one is gonna be a staple in me just being able to dominate when i play I want to do well. I want to be on the leaderboards. And more than anything, I want to be on those, P uh, not PvP, but the PvE, the raid leaderboards, the aftermath things. Oh, just looking at what we got here, guys. I'm so excited. Next thing here is going to be a 98% Dragonite. I, I bought this accidentally, actually, at this last CD, thinking it would get this the, the exclusive move. It didn't, but that's fine. I can give it the good moves later if it doesn't have it. Um... We're just going to take this to the top 4,277 dust. We've got a 4,277 CP Dragonite. This, I've got two hundos. This is like my third or fourth 98. I love these guys. We're going to also do the same here. I got a Dino 98 CP. This one's got Brutal Swing. It's one of the, the better Dark Tyke attackers. It's not number one against Shadow Tyranitar is number one. But let's go ahead and take this guy to the top. Feels good. 4,088. This is my third level 50 uh, Hydreigon. I've got 298, 96 Shiny, and a Hundo. This one feels really good. Look at that. Look at the, what I got left. This one, this should be my Hundo Mod Champ. I think I got this during research. No, I got this in the wild. You can see it's got Payback, the exclusive move. I'm really excited to bring this to level 50 because this is my first level 50 fighting type. I know it's not the most meta in the game, but man, I'm excited to have a level 50 fighting type. I've needed one of these for such a long time, and having this on my team is going to make such a difference. Looking through what I've got here, hmm, I don't know. This is the fun part. This is when I kind of hit the scratch my head kind of guess. Uh, I've got two level uh not level 50 but 98 cp mammal swine my favorite pokemon one of my favorite i should say of all time is swine up in the swine up family so it makes sense i bring one of these guys to level 50 let's go ahead and do the one that's going to cost less that's 450 this is 250 that's a no-brainer boom done 3755 cp only 50,000 dust and 50 candy for another move I think we can afford that. Let's go ahead and do it. Double move with Bulldoze. This thing is going to be an absolute animal. I'm so excited for this. What we want to do next, what I want to do next, is actually this level, or uh, this 100% Polyrath. This is something that I've been holding on to. I caught this in 2023, back in February. Um, through, through research, I believe. Yeah, through research. Yeah, through research. Uh, and I've just been holding on to it. I was waiting for the community day and I actually missed it. I was busy and forgot. Luckily, I remembered during the recap, I was able to get it the special move of counter. And because I'm so nostalgic for Gen 1, man, I'm so excited to bring this to level 50. I think I'm going to bet a buddy this one as well. Check that out. We're down to 4.2 million. We are halfway through. Again, this is my level up. This is my bring to level 50 group. I'm looking at it, and I'm not really feeling some of them. I've got three left here that I want to do, and we'll jump into my four stars, and we'll see what we've got. This here is a rank one Umbreon for Great League. I've heard nothing but good things. I don't know if this is relevant still at the end of 2023, to be honest. But because a lot of my friends are PvPers, and a lot of my community says you should have leveled this up a long time ago, I'm going to do it now. So we're going to bring this guy as close as we can. There we go. If we go there, it's over 15. So we'll go back one. 1497. Just 83,000 dust. And I've got myself a rank one Umbreon for the Great League. If, not, if anything's going to get me to PvP, it's going to be this. I'm excited to bring this into Great League when it comes back. 
Next thing I want to evolve is this 100% Roserade. I got this during the Hoenn tour, either this past spring or the one before, whenever that was. Roserade and Roselia are some of my favorite Pokemon. I love the Gen 4 evolutions that they brought back, or I should say they created during Gen 4. So I think it makes sense for me to bring this up to level 50. It does have the Community Day moves. I really think it's not important, but for personal reasons, I really like having them. It really feels cool to me to have a level 50, 100% Community Day move Pokemon. It feels extremely exclusive. And so here we go. At 3,359 CP with Community Day moves, a level 50 Roserade. This is really cool. And this is something that I really want to best buddy come 2024. Wow, I'm excited. We are down to 3.7 million. It took me the entire year, guys. Entire 365 days and some of grinding during an event and every day to get to 9 million dust. And we are two thirds of the way through. This is really, really fun, guys. I'm so excited to be here. The next thing that I want to evolve and the last thing I want to evolve with these tags is this 98 um, Galarian. I want to say it's a Galarian Darumaka. I got this from research a couple days ago, and my jaw dropped when I saw it, it was a 98. I knew six, uh, 616 was high. I knew that was high. I didn't know it was this high. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to power this up as far as I can. There we go. I'm going to have to make this one my buddy next year so we can max it out. Um, but this guy is going to be one of the best ice type attackers when the Zen form comes out. So I'm just preparing now for it. Wow. This is so exciting. Guys, we have 3.3 million uh, dust left. This Sableye is two XLs away from me being able to go ahead and max it out. This is, again, is a Mega I'm working on. I'm going to dump the XLs and do it as you just saw. And we're going to take it to level 50 really really cool i'm gonna have to give this one special moves if it ever gets its own cd but for now i'm really happy with this as a mega big a level 50 100 i think that's really cool to have in my collection all right guys we're gonna go into my hundos with 2.8 million dust and we're just gonna go through the list and see what we want to evolve we're just gonna go through recents and see what i have here I've got 100% Spinda. I don't want to evolve stuff or level up stuff that I can't take to 50. I want stuff to be able to go to 50. Um, okay, we got a, we've got a 100% Dratini. Oh, I can't take this to 50. That's a bummer. That's okay. Let's see. We just leveled this up to 50. Here's a Torchic. We can't take that. Ooh. Can we take this Feebas? No, absolutely we can. I've been working on that slowly. Glade's already level 50. Man. All right, here's a 100% Numel. The camera up is rumored to come out as a mega next year. I think having the hundo on tap for that is going to be awesome. We're going to take this to level 50 at 1196 CP. This is really cool to have. I'm waiting on a CD. I'm waiting on the Mega. But I know it's going to come eventually. So I think it's smart to do it now. Working with 2.3 million experience. Again, we're looking at all my hundos here. I think this is maxed. Yes, it is. Greninja. Close. Not there. Hmm. Definitely don't have for the game for the, uh, for the Kangaskhan there. Santa Hat Pikachu, 100%. I really like this 777 CP. I caught this while I was out with uh, my girlfriend. I actually go plus it, and uh, it's great. You can see I've got Scanner here. I've used this Scanner in the past, but I don't use those Pokemon anymore. Frankly, I don't really think I enjoy using them, so I don't. Uh, there's nothing here that I really want to level up. What do we want to do? Okay, here's a 100% Shup It. It's going to have a CD eventually. It has a Mega. I'm going to go ahead and take this to level 50. I don't think that's a bad choice. Eventually, it'll have a uh, its own CD. 
I'm excited on that one. Snubble is my least favorite Pokemon of all time. Do I take it to level 50? Do I take it for the memes? Let me know in the comments. I'm not going to do it now, but if you think that's a mistake, now is the time to let me know. Here's a 100% uh, IV Galarian Ponyta. I hatched this the other day. These are on the rarer side. We'll go ahead and take that to level 50. I know not everyone has one of those. We'll go ahead and do that there. Hmm, wow, we're down to the last couple million. 1.4. What do we take, guys? Hmm. This is the hard part. You want to make sure you're taking things to the top that are going to benefit you, or 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 be fun in the in the uh, in the future. I think this Haxorus is a really good example of both of those requirements. Check this out. I caught this at the original Axu Community Day. 98. It's a 98 shiny. So close to the Shundo. But I'm not mad one bit. I'm so happy to have a 98% shiny. I know a lot of people don't have this and a lot of people want it. So for everyone out there that wants this in their inventory, this is for you. And I hope, hope, hope you were able to get it at the recap. 98% shiny Axorus. Level 50, 4,000. 52 CP with the breaking swipe community day move. I'm excited. We have a million more dust to spend. I'm not going to lie, guys. I thought it would have been a lot harder to spend this much dust. Seriously, I thought it would have been a lot harder. Mammoth Swine, again, is one of my favorite Pokemon. The Shadow is one of the best. Let's see if I got any good Shadows, actually. And I don't have a four star. I got some three stars. Again, we maxed that out. I've got this Litwick here. This should be that. Is it worth it? Let me know if this is worth it in the comment, guys. I'm going to go ahead and max this out. Uh, Shadow Chandelure is the best ghost type attacker in the game right now, I believe. So we're going to take it to the top. We're going to spend a bunch of dust on it. Level 50, waiting for frustration to go to way. And Poltergeist is not that much better than the regular moves, if I remember correctly. So I'm happy to just have the regular moves on it. Shadow, Litwick, level 50. I have a 50 tag. I'm going to give it to this one. Because knowing me, I would accidentally delete it. So that, and then we'll actually, at the end here, we're going to go ahead and put level 50. Going through more and more of these. Shadow Mamo, we've got some of these guys. We got a couple Metagross. We won't be able to level 50 those. We've got it. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I think we take this up a bit. I don't know if we'll be able to max it 360, but we can take it close, 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 close. Haunch Crow is one of the better dark type attackers for uh, PvE when you're in raids, and I've actually used this a lot. I really enjoy using it. So let's go ahead and bring that to 50. 24 away. I know a lot of people won't agree. Oh, bummer. One away. I was going to say, I know a lot of people won't agree with me using my XLs on this. Frankly, in retrospect, I'm happy I couldn't. Um, but yeah, that is that would have been awesome to have on the team. This is a 15, 14, 14 Nido King. Not very relevant. I can't bring it to 50. We're really getting to a rock and a hard place here. Nothing I can do there. What's going on? What can we do? Shadow Venusaur. Mm. I think what we spend the rest of our our dust on here. Go, ooh, don't want to purify. Is this Mamo? We'll bring it up as much as we can. Not a bunch, but we'll bring it up. 2,982 dust. Shadow Mammoth Swine, the best ice type attacker in the game. It needs to get its moves changed around, but man, that's pretty cool. I'm really excited to have this as part of my arsenal. We're down to 4,000 dust. I don't know what else I can spend my dust on, to be honest with you guys. So we're gonna call it. That's, that is it. That is spending 9 million dust. 
in Pokemon Go. This is exhilarating. This is something I've never done before. And frankly, I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I'm really glad you guys were able to be here with me through this. And before I let you go, let's take a look at my top. It's not that much different, but I'm sure I'm going to notice a lot more Pokemon near the top that I didn't before. There we got the... The, the Mammo Swines are there, and I'm sure as I keep going, we'll keep seeing more and more at the top. Again, thank you guys so much for being here. This is something I've worked on all year, and as a reward for myself, I've just gone ahead and wanted to spend all my dust. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know. Were these good choices? Were these bad choices? Leave a comment down in the description. Would you have made the same decisions? Would you have made different decisions? Let me know. Hopefully, I'll go ahead and see you next year with the same video, hopefully with more dust. Leave a comment, leave a subscribe, leave a, a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thank you so much. I cannot express how appreciative I am for you being here. Until the next one, thank you, thank you, thank you. Rayon X3 is out. With love, show someone you care about him today, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.